Good morning, everyone. It's Jeff and Arden here bringing you another video from our adventures in Alaska. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be taking you along with us to China Hot Springs Resort. We're going to visit the hot springs there and go to the Aurora Ice Museum. We have a very fun day planned ahead of us. Who knows what else will happen? You're gonna to have to come with us to find out. Last night we pulled an all-nighter, went on Aurora Borealis photography chasing tour, which was spectacular. So we're a little groggy this morning because that tour ended at 4 a.m. And we woke up bright and early to continue the adventures here. Sure did. That's right. Uh, if you don't remember Arden, she's been joining me for these adventures. She's a hometown friend. I've known her my entire life. I'm yeah. so glad you're joining me for these adventures. I know, me too. It's been, yeah, it's been magical. Like, obviously, we live in a winter climate, but it's so fun, yeah, just experiencing new places. There's a different magic to be found each place you go. Exactly. So, yeah, today we're going to take you along for this fun winter wonderland adventure. Uh, we're going to show you what it's like to go to these places. We're just going to have fun along the way. So yeah. I'm excited to have you with us. Buckle up. Make sure your seatbelt's on. Let's go to China Hot Springs. Let's By the go. way, we're in Fairbanks. It's going to be about an hour drive north. Not too bad. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Head east on Badger Road. Yes, ma'am. Well, it's dumping right now, but lucky for us, we're from Montana and are used to driving in these winter storm conditions. We have all wheel drive. We're going to get there safely. Just maybe not with a smooth video because this road's a little bumpy and Arden's got some shaky hands today. Oops. All right, Jeff, where did we just get to? We have arrived to China Hot Springs Resort. I see the Aurora Ice Museum right there. Yep. All right, we're panning over. Oh, wow, there's like a cool airplane situation. The snow is gently falling like a Hallmark movie. We have arrived to a true winter wonderland. Yeah. I'm excited for a very relaxing, low-key adventure today. I love I know. Good. After a long night, I like it. So for record, guys, we just drove, what, like... 40, like 50 miles roughly. Yeah, normally that would probably take like 50 minutes, but with the weather, it slowed us down a little bit. So it took us like an hour and 10 minutes. Here. It did. Driving here felt like I was going through a space portal. The snow was just, let's go find the hot springs. Let's go soaking. The pool is this way. Okay. Ooh. I'm so ready for this. Like After freezing my butt off last night on the Aurora Borealis tour, I can't so wait to tomorrow. soak in warm water me time. for like hours. So we are in the room where you take off your shoes. If you don't want to walk barefoot in the locker room to the pools, definitely bring shower shoes, which we did not. How about that socks? Talk about that feeling. <laughs> so the lockers are 50 cents each. So we're putting a dollar in to get some quarters. I'm seeing if I can get rid of my torn bill. <laughs> oh, did it work? Nice, baby. All right, obviously I didn't film in the locker room because privacy issues. Privacy issues, but I locked up my things, put the quarters in, I've got the key. You really gotta keep track of the key. So anyway, we're coming out to the pool and as you can see, it walks right into the pool. Let's go on it. <laughs> Here we are. Hello. What do you think? I think there's some chatty Cathy's, but it's really good people watching. Yes, very good people watching here for Honestly, sure. A lot of good tattoos. All right, so here we are in China Hot Springs. This is a natural spring fed by circulating water that gains its heat from geothermal energy below the Earth's surface. And another cool detail is that it's believed that this is a great way to detox your skin. Silica and sulfur minerals in these waters have healing properties. Like and come out looking like blue babe. Yep. <laughs> a great way to soften rough and dry skin and alleviate skin irritations altogether. So this is good for our skin, Arden. It is, good for our skin. I'm also saying good for our like soldo after last night. Exactly. Like, for Cooking in this warm water after freezing last night. <laughs> Love a good human soup. But whoever said it's cold in Alaska wasn't accounting for all the natural hot springs you can experience here. <sighs> Starting to really get hot in here. So this is a pretty spacious spring. It's pretty crowded on yeah. a Saturday afternoon, but 
I mean, go figure, it's peak season around here for this kind of stuff. But we do have our little quiet corner over here where we film some content, making some videos. Uh, the sun is peeking out, which is a great sign. We drove here in a winter blizzard, but we might have clear skies this afternoon. So for all the dads watching who like weather forecast updates, this one's for you. I just want this water to cleanse away all the blemishes on my skin. Can I cleanse my soul? I'm... So the sulfur smell here isn't too bad. I've been to a lot of hot springs where it's very potent, and here it's very subtle. Okay, Arden, an interesting fact about this water yeah. for you. So this water circulates up and down below the Earth's surface. So when water cools down, it sinks back into the Earth and heats up again. But this cycle can last up to a thousand years. This doesn't happen daily or wow. yearly. It can take a really long time for this water to sink all the way back to where the source um, of the heat is coming from. And that's a little explanation for how this place exists. Do you love traveling with a nature nerd? Yeah. Come on, Arden, let's go explore all these caves. Ooh, a beer can. All right, so I usually remember to do this, but this time I forgot. This is my ring and it's supposed to be silver. So it's reacting to the minerals in the water. I'm going to take it off right away. Last time I swam with it in sulfur water, sulfuric water, uh, it turned black and it took a few days to go back to normal. Thank goodness it went back to normal. But this is a reminder to take off your jewelry before you get in the hot springs. Please don't fall forward. Mm. You guys see like our eyelashes? Yeah. And I don't know if you can see how frozen and crusty <laughs> this is right now. That tends to happen when you're in a hot spring and it starts yeah. snowing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What's the food like out here in Cheetah Hot Springs Resort? <laughs> Let's find out. You guys, I forgot to show you the food. <laughs> we ate it so fast. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. You're gonna stay subscribed, right? You're not mad at me. Can we talk about this amazing godly light we're getting right now? <laughs> Maybe it's from the hot springs. All right, everyone, little update for you. We just had lunch, which was great. And now we're waiting to check in for our Aurora Ice Museum tour. You can only visit the museum when you have a book tour. Oh, and really? it goes yeah, it goes a few times a day, I believe 11 o'clock, 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and we are signed up for the 5 p.m., which is still about two hours away. So we're going to walk around, explore the grounds, see what's out there, film some videos, and of course, take you along with us. Yeah. All right, guys, let's do it. Pro tip, always travel with a makeup artist and an assistant. For the record, this normally isn't my thing, but... You know, I'm just... Apparently, I'm just like the mom that carries everything, so. You are, you've got we the snacks. We also just have time to kill. So. You've got the snacks and the touch-ups. My oh eyebrows! God. All right, guys, we're just going on a little walk. We have two hours to kill. There's lots to explore in the area. I see some little walking trails. There's some people snowshoeing. There's a giant plane that's mantled on a structure back there. We're gonna check that out. We're also looking at the outside of the Aurora Ice Museum. And now we're coming up to what looks like a heated spring. I definitely smell the sulfur. Wow. Should I try to kick it? Look at this beautiful scenery. Yeah. There's one of the greenhouses. We'll be your tour guide for the 5 p.m. Ice Museum tour. Yeah, yeah. Going in about 10 minutes. Uh, if you have not already checked in with myself or one of my colleagues at the desk, please do check in. <laughs> also, I'll let you know that the Ice Museum does not have any bathrooms. If you have to go, we have a bathroom here, and then we'll all leave together. We were booked for the tour before today, but I just added drink vouchers because we're definitely going to get a signature cocktail at the ice bar I mean, of course duh, it's duh. a signature they serve some kind of apple martini not really sure but you can Do only you order just... one drink at this bar and you have to be 21 plus to order the drink so i have this as my golden ticket if you had to space out apple martini instead of just being like you know city chic and saying apple tini i'm embarrassed about that novice quite a lot of people on this tour. Okay, don't lick the sculptures and oh, don't no. open the door yourself. Okay. Got it. We're all going into the refrigerator. Oh, here's the temperature. <laughs> 
And I'm the person who has to clean up all of the snow, so please stomp your feet. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. What's going on here? Feeling. On this side of the walkway is where all of the artwork is made. All of the sculptures that you will see here today were made by Stephen and Heather Bryce. They are world-renowned, award-winning ice sculptors. And this one sculpture took more than 300 hours to create. There's also lines on the neck of the horse in front. That is where about six years ago, the original head was damaged, and the artist made a completely new head and then melted it onto the rest of the body. Even these small lights that you see everywhere generate a little bit of heat. And it's actually enough heat that it can melt the ice if they get too close. So that's the reason that we keep this dim ambiance. What are your thoughts? It's cool. I just can't believe that they've kept pieces of here since like 2005. Ooh. As you can see, this is a bed frame. And I believe they tried to make this into an ice hotel originally. I really like this place. Yeah, it's cool. So we have made our way to the ice bar. We're going to cash in my voucher for two apple teenies. I'm very excited to try this. It's going to be served in an ice glass, of course. And the glasses can be a little bit on the fragile side, so be real careful with them. And the tradition with the glasses is if you make a wish and you smash the glass outside, supposed to make your wish come true. Oh. Mm. How did that taste? You have a very quiet palate and you're very fancy with your cocktail making, so your opinion matters. It's nice and sugary. It tastes like a headache. <laughs> Waiting to happen. And one more in case you're blinking. Let's pack these in our suitcase. I need arms. <laughs> oh, I really liked it in there. It's yeah. actually a lot warmer than out here. Oh, it's like okay. it's kept at like yeah. 25 degrees. And you get to go home with a glass. Obviously. <laughs> 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 like how many pieces of martini glasses are just scattered? Didn't she say it's they serve over like 20,000 martinis a year in there, yeah. ice glasses? This is like the graveyard right outside. Yeah, think Let's of all the wishes here's... people have made here. Hey, by the oh, way, no. good smash. Thanks, appreciate it. I have a lot of aggression to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Chena. It's been real. Adios. Now back to the cabin we go. All right, we are driving away from Chena Hot Springs, and we spotted a moose crossing the river. An Alaskan moose, that is. I do feel like that's a like an above average moose. Size moose. Right. Can we run to the other side real quick? Is this the snow cloud? I don't know. So it like it already has. I mean, mooses are tall. Mooses are usually like the size of a horse or bigger. Are you saying mooses? I think the plural of moose is moose. Oh, dang it. Okay, Mrs. Apple Martini. <laughs> All right, me. you got me. This is why you're the food and bar expert, and, and I'm the, the animal charm. expert. The moose. I, I think I stepped into your territory today. You did. A little too much. Yeah, Fumbled. Okay. Oh my god, there's another car! <laughs> Not indoors! We are back in our cozy cabin, and I just crashed on the couch. I'm so tired. And Arden's cooking for me. It's time for the feeding. Oh, I'll come to the table. Eat on the couch. Oh, this looks so good. I am the luckiest person in the world. I'm convinced. Well, everyone, thanks for joining us for this amazing day here in Alaska. In this video, I took you along with us to the Chena Hot Springs and also the Aurora Ice Museum just outside of Fairbanks. Two amazing places that you should definitely visit next time you're in Fairbanks, especially in the wintertime. It is a true winter wonderland. Uh, we absolutely loved our day. On our drive back, we had beautiful landscapes to admire. And now we're back at our cozy cabin. We're gonna get a good night's rest, finally, <laughs> because we have two more days in Alaska. I can't wait for more. 
So if you want to continue the adventures with us, all you have to do is press that button right there. Subscribe to this channel because I love taking you on worldwide nature expeditions all around the world. So don't miss out on future ones. Uh, we got some more coming from Alaska very soon, so stay tuned for those. Arden, how are you ready for bed? I am. I'm tired. I'm tired too. Yeah. Too much good stuff today, though. Too much fun today. It's time to rest up for more fun. All right. See you next time. Thank you.